Welcome, this is Tennessee End of Course Algebra 1, Practice Test 3, Question 61. Question says, a researcher recorded data on the temperature change in degrees Fahrenheit of a cold liquid placed in a drinking glass. The graph below shows the results. Now you'll notice in the, uh, on the x-axis there in my independent variable, we have time and it's in minutes and they're going up, going up by increments of 10. On the other side of it, the temperature on the uh, dependent variable side of the y-axis is uh, going up by increments of 10 degrees, so minutes and degrees, so that all works out. Now, what I'm going to do to figure this problem out, since I want to know a rate of change, and a rate of change is, of course, the change in my dependent variable over my change in the independent variable. In slope terms, we refer to this as the change in y over the change in x, or rise over run. Now in this case, the dependent variable is the temperature, because without the time as a place to sort of lock in where I am, where I am right there, I have no idea what the relationship is. Like if I say, okay, it's 50 degrees right now, so what? Well, if I tell you that it was 40 degrees 30 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago or whatever it happens to be, then I have some context for that information. Whereas the time, it's 30 minutes, okay, before it was 20 minutes. So it, the time will go on without the cold glass being placed in a room, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, my change, I'm going to try to find some points that are sort of clearly uh, crossing one of the grid points, and then I'm just going to make some comparisons. So. In this case, I'm going to choose this point right here because it's right on the line. Now, I know this is between 20 and 30, halfway between-ish. So I'm going to look at sort of my change in my time. So it starts at about 25. And because this is a line, the slope is constant or the rate of change is constant. And over here, I've got a nice little cross point on the grid at around 70. So between my two points I've chosen, I've got a change of about 45 minutes. My change in temperature, well, it's supposed to be a, chain, a symbol for change and not an A, my change in temperature in those same points would be 40 degrees, would be where I started, and then I got up to 50 degrees. So I'm looking at about a 10 degree Fahrenheit change. To find my rate of change, I said it would be dependent over independent, which in this case would be temperature over time. So you do 10 divided by 45, and you find out it's somewhere in the range of around 0 0.2 repeating uh, degrees Fahrenheit per minute. So my answer would be A. Now, the other ones, uh, some of them make sense and some of them don't. Like 2 degrees Fahrenheit per minute would mean that it would go up very steeply on this graph just based on the way that it's set up. It's easy to sort of fall for that trap if you don't pay attention to the scale. Like if I just look at that, if I would look at that as, um, you know, 4.5 minutes as opposed to 45 minutes, things start to change in my perspective on what the answer is supposed to be. So pay attention to the scale. It's an important issue here. That way you can get the correct answer on one that's really easy to score points on this test with. So that's it.